This video from Learn Electrics will look at some recent questions about the rating factors for electrical cables if we are given certain conditions of installation. We ask ourselves what all these C factors mean in Appendix 4 of the wiring regulations. There are some big equations here, where do we even start? And there they are again in the on-site guide, so which ones should we use, what are they for, and how do we work them out? Let's establish some basic understanding before we proceed. The fuse or circuit breaker will provide both fault current protection and overload protection. There is a simple equation that tells us in what order we must calculate values of current to arrive at the correct answer. This equation is shown here. IB, the designed current, must be known first and it must not be more than IN, the fuse rating. Find IB and then choose IN. And IT is the tabulated current carrying capacity of the conductor, which we calculate once we know IN, the rating of the fuse or breaker. Let's look. IB must not be more than IN. Or another way, IN, the rating of the fuse or breaker, must always be equal to or greater than IB, the design current of the circuit load. A 4 kilowatt load has a design current of 17.3 amps and we will need a 20 amp fuse or circuit breaker. You must understand that we are not changing the fuse or circuit breaker rating and we will not put more than the design current through the cable. It simply tells us that under certain conditions the conductor will overheat more quickly unless we increase the size of copper conductor. And, with a bigger conductor size, the same design current will flow, but the extra copper means that it will not overheat. It is still the same 4 kilowatt load, the same 17.3 amps of design current, and the same fuse rating of 20 amps. We are just going to use bigger cable, and these calculations tell us how big the cable should be. Once we know IN, the rating of the fuse or breaker, we can apply the installation conditions to calculate IT, the tabulated current carrying capacity of the cable. Tabulated means that we look up this value in a table and find a cable size that will take this value of current. The formula in the on-site guide is shown here and includes the four most often used condition codes. The formulas shown in the wiring regulations book are basically the same just lots more C factors. This tells us that IT must be equal to or greater than the rating of the breaker divided by all these condition code numbers as given in the appropriate tables or regulations. The more common of these are CA for ambient air temperature, CG for grouping factor, CI is the factor for thermal insulation, and CF is the BS3036 semi-enclosed fuse factor. The table shown here lists these four rating factors and tells you where to find the relevant tables in the wiring regulations book and in the on-site guide. These tables are for cables that are not buried in the ground. Buried cables are covered by even more tables in the regulations book. Let's begin by using an example and looking at just one condition factor. We might have this problem to solve. What size 70 degree centigrade thermoplastic or PVC twin and earth cable should be chosen for a circuit installed in an ambient air temperature of 35 degrees centigrade if it is protected by a 20 amp circuit breaker and clipped direct? Because it is ambient air temperature, this will be a condition code CA. If we go back to our big formula, we notice that only CA is required. Because the others are not applicable, we can effectively ignore these in the calculation. So let's get rid of CG, CI and CF. We are now left with IT must be greater than the fuse rating divided by the factor for ambient air temperature. So our question and our original formula have been simplified to this. Looking on page 168 of the on-site guide, we will find table F1 that tells us to use a value of 0 0.94. How have we got this? 
Find 70 degree thermoplastic in table F1 as shown here and follow this down to the row for 35 degrees air temperature where the two cross is our factor 0 0.94 easy so follow this through 20 divided by 0 0.94 is 21.28 amps the cable we choose should be able to carry this 21.28 amps of current and chosen correctly it will not overheat under these conditions so we now know that IT is 21.28 amps and we must find a suitable size cable. Look in the on-site guide, page 177 and at table F6. This table is specifically for 70 degrees centigrade thermoplastic PVC insulated and sheathed flat cable with a protective conductor with copper conductors. In other words, our standard twin and earth. This is table F6. Find clipped directly on the top. Follow the column down until you find a value that is equal to or greater than 21.28 amps. We find this is 27 amps. Now move to the left and read off the conductor size, which is 2.5 millimeters. For this circuit, we must choose 2.5 millimeter twin and earth cable. So. 2.5 mm twin earth would take 27 amps and this means that IT is in fact greater than 21.28 amps. Job done. Let's try two condition factors now. We are asked what size 70 degree centigrade thermoplastic twin earth cable should be chosen for a circuit installed in an ambient air temperature of 35 degrees centigrade if it is protected by a 20 amp BS3036 fuse and clipped direct. We've kept this the same as the last example, just added on another factor so that you can see how they build up. Now we will need condition factors for CA and CF. We only need these two factors and we will stick with the on-site guide. Table F1 on page 168 for CA and the text at the bottom of page 167 for CF. CF, the fuse factor, is only applied for BS3036 rewirable fuses and this is 0 0.725. This is because BS3036 fuses have a bigger fusing factor than other fuses and we need to allow for this. For all other fuses we use a factor of 1 which means that we can ignore it. Here is our calculation, 20 on the top and 0 0.94 multiplied by 0 0.725 on the bottom. A tip on calculation order. It is so important that you get this calculation right. Here is one method. First, calculate the bottom row and write the answer down. 0 0.94 multiplied by 0 0.725 is 0 0.6815. Now do the calculation. 20 divided by 0 0.6815 and this is your answer. IT must be equal to or greater than 29.35 amps. If you get something like 14 and a half amps, you've gone wrong. Follow this method and you will get the right answers. Now find a suitable cable size for 29.35 amps. Look in the on-site guide on page 177 at table F6. Find clipped direct. Follow it down. Find an amps value equal to or greater than 29.35 and trace horizontally to the left and you will find the minimum size of conductor required. In this case the conductor size is 4mm which can take 37 amps clipped direct. Our chosen cable should be 4mm twin and earth. In summary then, first to calculate the design current IB. Then Choose a fuse or breaker rating that will take this value of current, IN. Now divide the fuse rating by each of the applicable rating factors for the conditions presented to you and you will find the tabulated current carrying capacity, IT. Finally, from the tables, choose a cable or conductor size to suit the tabulated current carrying capacity that is needed. And that is it. 
There we have a quick introduction to condition codes and rating factors. We hope you've enjoyed this video and that a little more knowledge has crept into your mental toolbox. Thank you for watching this video, it is very much appreciated. Please subscribe to our channel to get access to all of our videos and remember to click on notify to be sure of not missing our next video. And you'll find even more information, videos and help on our website at learnelectrics.com. And don't forget that you can also type in Learn Electrics or one word into the YouTube search bar to go directly to our channel at any time from any computer. We are constantly adding new videos to our channel. Don't miss the next one. And once again, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again very soon.